In this video, I am going to show you how to use Anthropic's Claude Heiko model in AWS Bedrock. I will also be showing you step-by-step -step instructions to get it enabled and then how to use it from the Python code in AWS Bedrock. Heiko is one of the fastest and latest model from Anthropic. It is one of the major and most performant model from this Claude 3 family of models, which includes Opus and Sonnet. And now we have Haiku. I already have done a few videos on both Opus and Sonnet. And if you want, you can search my channel in order to go through those two models. But in this video, as I mentioned, we will be focusing on Haiku model. This Haiku is Anthropic's fastest, most compact model for near instant responsiveness. It answers simple queries and requests with unmatched speed. Users will be able to build seamless AI experiences that mimic human interactions. The context window of Haiku model is 200,000. You can use it in various forms. For example, you can use it for customer interactions such as uh, translations or live support. You can catch risky behavior or customer requests, and you can optimize logistics, inventory management, extract knowledge from unstructured data, and a lot of other things. The thing which differentiates it with other models is that it is smarter, faster, and more affordable than other models in its intelligence category. I will drop the link to this Haiku's page, and you will see that there are a lot of benchmarks they have done where Haiku has performed real good. Okay, so let's get started. As I said, I'll be using Amazon Bedrock for it. So let me take you to my AWS account where we will enable Haiku and then we will use it. Log into your AWS account, then go to Amazon Bedrock service. Then on the left hand side, go to this model access. Once you are in the model access, here you, see, you can see that I have two new ones. One of them is Haiku. So scroll down until you see the Anthropic Haiku. So there you go. So this is Cloud uh, 3 Haiku. In order to get the access, scroll up, click on Manage Model Access, and then scroll down and then just unselect these. Okay, maybe you can select these, doesn't matter. Or you can just simply click on Cloud 3 Haiku and then scroll down and click on save changes okay maybe i'll just or maybe i will cancel it and re-enable this i think mistakenly i did that so as soon as i saved it you can see that now it is in progress it takes around few minutes to get it working so let's wait for it to come back and on, you can already see that it is text and vision so it's a multi-modal llm let's wait once it becomes access granted then we will go to our vs code and i will show you the code through which you can play around with it if you want you can even go to these playgrounds on the left hand side chat text image and you can play around with this so you can see that the access has been granted here to this cloud 3 Haiko. Now, in order to use it, there are a few ways you can do it through playground here, as I mentioned earlier, or you can do it through code. Let me show you both of the ways. Let's click on chat first. So this is the chat option. Now here, click on select model, go to Anthropic, who is the creator of this model, and then select Cloud Tree Haiku, and then click on apply. Now you can start chatting with it or you can upload the image so let me ask is this question just type it here i'm asking it how might a large language model contribute to advancement in interstellar communication theories and techniques press enter on the right hand side you can see that i have set the temperature or randomness of response to one okay there you go look at the speed and look at the answer how cool is that wow and modeling uh, complex communication patterns, developing novel communication protocol, and so on and so forth. 
how awesome is the response now let me ask it a multimodal question so i'm just selecting an image from my local system i'll just select a, a youtube thumbnail of my previous videos i'm asking it mm, what is the text in this image exactly so that is the image that is uh, one of the it says create ai agents in aws bedrock with code that is cool let me ask it what colors are there in this image nice beautiful yes the colors it even has given me the color scheme how beautiful is that can you okay so let me ask it to generate an image let's see if it can do it i have created this sort of a big prompt to create an image so i'm asking it imagine a scene set in a lush mysterious forest at twilight where the boundary between magic and reality blurs in the heart of forest lies a hidden enchanting pond that glows with the bioluminescent light and then around this pond ancient towering trees and all that stuff let's see if it is able to do it okay okay so it cannot generate the images but it can understand the images and decipher them okay that is cool so that is how you can uh, play with it in this uh, playground now let me take you to my vs code where we will see how to access it through the code so this is my vs code let me first walk you through the code through which we will be accessing plot 3 haiku through bedrock and then i will run it First, I'm importing Boto3 and JSON, so make sure that you have them installed on your local system. Then I'm instantiating the Boto3 client with the service name Bedrock Runtime. And then I'm specifying my Haiku model. These are a few of the things like you just need to keep them like this. And this is my prompt. Let me give it more interesting one. So I'm saying it that if you could interview any historical figure using a time machine, who would it be and what would you ask them? then i'm invoking the model with a model id and then these are the usual stuff where max token this is the output it is going to produce and this is a prompt template which it is going to use the role of user and then this is the role of ai but uh, the response will be returned and then i will uh, load it as a string and then i'm showing a few of the things like how many input token output token have been dealt with and then i'm printing out the response here so let me run it so I'm just running it locally with my plot 3 haiku. This is my file name. Let me press enter. And my code is running now. Let's wait for it to finish. There you go. And if I just that bit make it bigger, you see it says that output length is this. And then model has said that. That's an interesting question. If I could interview any historical figure, I think I would choose to speak with Galileo Galilei. As a pioneering astron astronomer and physicist, I would love to ask him about his scientific discoveries and inventions, such as telescope, and get his perspective on the revolutionary ideas he developed. How cool is that? And then he is just uh, justifying his reasoning that overall, I think, so what are things that he can think that Galileo would provide a fascinating window into the pivotal area era of scientific advancement? How cool is that? Let me ask it one more question. Let me go up and then just maybe replace this with this. So I'm asking it in a future where AI governs nation, what checks and balances would you propose? So let me clear my screen and then ask that question again. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. Wow. You see that if let me make it a bit bigger. It has come up with all of these stuff that uh, in the AI governance, it is going to do robust transparency, public oversight, diverse stakeholder input, mechanism for human appeal, constitutional and legal constraints, de distributed a decentralized control and blah 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 awesome stuff okay so 
this is how you can play around with the code i hope that you found it interesting if you have any questions or feedback let me know and i'll drop the this whole code in my blog and i'll put the link in video's description so play around with it in the next video i'm going to show you how you can play around with images by using this haiku model through code that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you've already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching